Things are getting very interesting for Minecraft 1.21 as the developers over at Mahjong Studios are gearing up for a huge announcement going into early 2024. In this video we're going to be covering all of the latest information that you need to know about, including not only some huge armadillo changes but also some huge rumours and leaks surrounding a new biome coming to the game and so much more. So if you're hyped, do not forget to drop this video a like and subscribe for more Minecraft news like this. So starting off, let's quickly cover the first Minecraft update of 2024. I'm sure most of you have seen this by now, but Jay Wells, the Minecraft community manager, did post this back on January the 4th, announcing the first Minecraft beta preview of 2024. This update does bring a variety of very interesting changes to not only the armadillo, but also the troll chamber, the breeze, and also wolf armor. All in all, a very interesting update, but not the one we're all waiting for. A few weeks back on December the 24th, it was announced by Mojang Studios that they've actually listened to our feedback already and they are working on a new iteration for the Armadillo, available in snapshots and betas early 2024. As of when I'm uploading this video there is still no sign of this updated Armadillo texture because large parts of the team at Mojang Studios are still most likely on their holiday vacation. Remember this is all despite Minecraft's art director Japa being heavily against these changes. Stating that the eyes were originally put on the front of the armadillo's head to create a better connection between this new mob and the player, which did not really work out. So if everything goes to plan as announced back on December the 24th, we should be receiving our first looks at this updated texture within the next few days or even weeks. With all that being said though, we are awaiting currently a huge announcement from the development team over at Mojang Studios itself. Around this time last year is when we started hearing news and information about the Cherry Grove, which was a very unexpected feature added with the Trails and Tales update. Mojang just one day surprised us with an entire new biome. At the moment it is very unconfirmed but widely believed that we will be getting a new or updated already existing biome as a part of Minecraft 1.21. One of the most talked about candidates is of course the Savannah biome as this is where the new armadillo will actually be found. So it makes sense that alongside this new mob, the biome it will be discovered in will also receive an update. As you can also see in this poll from my community tab, many people have pointed out how at the moment the armadillo does also eat spider eyes which just feels very out of place and almost like a placeholder until termites are added. But as I said at the moment this is all just a game theory. Another thing we can expect to see from Mojang surrounding the armadillo in the coming weeks are the different colour variations originally teased in the concept art. It would make sense that alongside the updated armadillo texture we would also see the different colour variations of this mob. This was actually leaked all the way back in 2023 so hopefully we'll start hearing more about this very soon. And let's not forget there's still an entire ongoing mystery surrounding the trial key. This item was added in late 2023 where it was teased by David, a developer at Mojang, to have some kind of a hidden purpose and here we are early into the new year and we still do not know what this item actually does. One very popular theory right now is that this will lead you to some kind of a boss chamber or secret new room to be added within the trial chambers. This theory is reinforced by the fact that there is currently a very strange door within the trial chambers that leads to nowhere and if you actually go back to the original trailer of the copper golem the room that it's found in is also a secret underground lab looking structure, obviously containing a lot of copper. As I also mentioned in my previous video, the community is also quite hyped over the return of the Soothing Scenes series on the official Minecraft YouTube channel because of how in a previous YouTube short it was teased by a Mojang employee. They actually want to add these sound effects to the game as a part of an atmospheric update. So there's also the possibility that Mojang is getting closer and closer to this end goal of an ambient and atmospheric update for Minecraft. 
This is also not to mention that we did discover that there are currently two unavailable videos in the Soothing Scenes playlist, possibly hinting that there is much more to come. Thankfully though, it's not just me who seems to think there is a huge information wave incoming. The Legend Echo did say crazy to think there's a whole list of content coming to 1.21 that we haven't seen yet. And that is so, so true. Even King B Dogs, a well-known developer at Mojang Studios, has previously confirmed that what we've received so far is only what they had ready to show us at Minecraft Live 2023. So it's safe to say there is much, much more content on the way that we just simply have not seen yet. And if you're wondering, when can we start receiving some of this new content, the answer to that is much sooner than you actually think. As early as January the 24th last year, Mojang were back hard at work on new content. In this case specifically, it was the all new armor trims. So hopefully we can see a repeat of something very similar this year, where towards the end of January, Mojang will return better than ever with some huge new content. Believe it or not, Mojang has a very proven track record of starting the year extremely strong. As we just mentioned earlier, in 2023 it was not only with armor trims, but also the cherry blossom biome. So I really would not be surprised if we get an incredibly out of nowhere feature just like armor trims, but also if we get the reveal of an entirely new biome or updated savannah to go alongside the new armadillo mob. The one key thing I wanted to point out in this video is that there is a lot going on behind the scenes. As I said, keep an eye out because over the next week or two, I think we will start receiving information from Mojang, most likely towards the end of the month, where then it will be just full steam ahead all the way up until the release of Minecraft 1.21. We're just in a bit of a quiet season right now, waiting for Mojang to get back from vacation. However, one thing has the Minecraft community a bit concerned at the moment, and that is the original Armadillo concept art. I shown this earlier on in the video, but as you can see, where the other colours are mentioned, there is actually a question mark next to it, making some people believe that maybe this is a cover for Mojang to actually go back on its word and not add these different armadillo colour variants. They infamously did this with Fireflies back in the Wild update, saying concept art is not a commitment, but I guess we will just have to wait and see. And to finish up, while we're on the topic of concept art, I would really like to know what you'd think about the huge rumour at the moment that stone chests are going to be making a return as a part of Minecraft 1.21. This is by far one of the most talked about features to be coming back to the game ever since the reveal of the trial key. To be honest I'm not too sure but a lot of people really do believe that these stone chests are actually making a return because of course it would be a shame to waste all of this amazing concept art. Let me know if this is something you would like to see down below in the comments because honestly we know the developers are out there, they are always listening for our ideas and feedback and they do really use that to make the game better. Even with all that being said, there is still so much going on at the moment within the Minecraft community that we did not really mention in this video, so if you are looking for more news, more information, more things to keep you busy while you wait for the official release of Minecraft 1.21, be sure to check out this video on screen before it actually disappears. In this one we talk a lot more about the soothing scenes theory and the possibility of the ambience atmospheric update making a return. 